With more network devices in our homes and growing demand for faster, more reliable connections, quality of experience was one of the big talking points at the Broadband World Forum. Quality experience is kind of the ongoing ultimate challenge for networks. Communications has clearly over the last decade moved from being something that's you know, was always been super important to just becoming absolutely essential. And digital lifestyles are really delivered by the technology that we're all familiar with, such as smartphones, tablets, laptops. But all of those things are actually connected to a wireless network inside the home. And so when we talk about quality of experience, what we're really saying is for a lovely digital experience, then the wireless network performance has to be outstanding. The standard you expect the fixed time when it goes wrong is just different to what it was 10 years ago and is getting less, appropriately, less tolerant of failure. So today's service providers really have to talk about how are the humans, which is subscribers, having an experience in the home that they really love. Traditionally, the, the, the speed coming to the home has always been the bottleneck and you've always had wireless connections that could far outpace the speeds that were coming into the home. And the exciting thing now is we're actually seeing gigabit to the home through fiber, and now you need to have comparable wireless technologies. With the advent of OTT video and now Ultra HD 4K coming down the pike, IoT driving complexity on the wireless network, the fact that most households have six to, six to nine different devices connected to their network, the wireless network is under attack. And quite often, it's a Wi-Fi connection in a high density urban environment where there are lots of other competing Wi-Fi signals. And it's not uncommon for us to hear that service providers are getting complaints from their customers when they've taken receipt of their new gigabit service that they can only get throughputs of 10, 15, 20 meg. And ultimately that boils down to problems with the Wi-Fi infrastructure, interference from other access points, coverage problems, etc. So in addition to the speed, you need to be able to operate efficiently in a dense deployment. So 802.11ac with multi-user MIMO, Wave 2, is one of the technologies that allows you to do that. And 60 gigahertz, which is 11 AD, is the other thing that we're, we're focused uh, very heavily on. This brings multi-gigabit performance to the home. Increasingly, we're seeing service providers saying, look, I need to get control of that end-to-end -end delivery chain, including the wireless piece, so I can get control of that quality of experience for this subscriber. The only way to really do that effectively is to have a cloud-based software solution that effectively virtualizes the experience delivery network hardware, the, the physical network itself, into a logical entity that they can manage and they need to optimize the performance. They need to find and fix problems that occur very rapidly because consumers want to keep their access network up running flawlessly. They want 100% connectivity all the time. We're trying to embed that capability where our infrastructure-based Wi-Fi that carriers deploy as part of their carrier Wi-Fi network can also talk to our Wi-Fi enabled residential gateways so they can control that whole ORF experience to ensure that if there is interference that the devices are not competing with each other and knocking down that quality of experience for subscribers. They're going to face a large challenge around data. It takes a lot of data analysis, diagnostic data collection, analytics of all that data in order to really understand what's happening in real time. It's a real time world for their subscribers. It has to be a real time world for the service providers as they try to manage good digital experiences 100% of the time for the consumers. Probably the, th the two biggest OPEX costs that they face today is cost of support for their customers, but also customer acquisition cost. So if you can get an environment where you can deliver a very stable service, that that end user quality of experience is extremely high. That turns into happy customers, that reduces churn, that reduces truck rolls, that makes CSR calls shorter, that saves a lot of money. Click up top for a quick video on how QoE interacts with net neutrality, or for our next video from the Broadband World Forum on the Internet of Things, please subscribe.